and you end up looking for your solar panels the next day so the the design which we did is six year another six year uh this was not the actual design in mind uh we observed that if we should use the down part his neighbor might want to put his own solar panel so we couldn't use that side we decided to do six six since this is his own apartment we are on the roof to this very client's apartment so six year another six year because we have uh 12 units of 500 watt panels from seawall so still watch out how we are going to do the lane and how we are going to tie the boat and not and show you how firm it becomes immediately you bolt uh the knot to uh, the panels so just watch out so two panels up don't forget the first thing you have to do is to slot in your positive to your negative because the whole six panels here will be in series so the first thing connect your cable because if you didn't connect your cable or you forgot to connect one at the end of the day you end up losing the whole panels in order for you to trace the problem so you have to slot in the positive to the negative this way because the whole six panels here will be in series don't forget to press it very hard yeah so the next thing is to arrange our panel in order for us to bolt it up a bit it's okay is the spanner with you or with me okay spanner is with me the left side should go up a bit mm, up yeah and don't forget to align your panels so that your work will look very clean like mine we have to shift it this side if not we will not get our our measurement back a bit shift it a little a little i'm watching this line this. yeah okay shift it I'll need player. It's tough for me. I'll need player. Give me lemons. Though we are not done tying it yet but you can see the panels are already steady they are stationary they are not moving but don't forget to bolt it very well because if you don't bolt it very well the panels will end up sliding down so i'll take plier now to support the bolt because it's moving in order for me to tie the knot so this is how you lay your panels or you install your solar panels when using aluminium profile it's very easy to go with if you're a beginner, this is the best way to install a solar panels instead of using bandy wires. Give me sir. So finally, we are done with the installation of the 12... Uh, unit of 500 watt solar panels from seawalt you know i taught you guys how to lay your profile how to now lay your panels put your bolt and nuts and stuff like that the last thing you shouldn't forget is to hide your wire in case you do a connection like this where there is a detachment or where there is a separation between the two strings of panels don't forget to put your, your panel cable in a pipe to avoid rusting so here i know some of you may be wondering what happens to the edges of the panels since the bolt and knot is just between the two panels and the other panels not uh on the side of the panels so this is what it looks like from the edges don't forget you have to drill a screw or you have to get bolt and knot and maybe get a pipe and you know put your pipe in between the panel and your bolt and not to go through the pipe in order for you to tie the edges but like the way i do mine i just drill a screw through the aluminium profile uh through the uh panel profile 
to the aluminium profile so if you can see it's very very firm because this is attached to the roof then this is attached to the profile that is how i hold the edges of the solar panels throughout so with this you don't have fear you don't have to be afraid of a uh, breeze or wind taking your panels away because your panels are firmly attached to your roof except maybe your roof will be removed together with the panels but the panels on their own cannot just go out because they are firmly attached to the roof so this is the best way to install your solar panels to avoid stories because uh, some locations or some places have high wind or high breeze that will uh, affect your panels at the end of the day if you don't hold them very well to the roof so stop using bandy wire to hold your solar panels to the roof like i told you guys when you use aluminium profile there will be an airspace you can see there is a space my hand can go down that's beneath the panels so if there is a space like this there will be air flow underneath the solar panels and instead of your cells getting burned because if there is no separation between your panel and the roof the temperature will be too high and the cells might end up having problem but with this uh, style of installation using the aluminium profile or the proper rack there will be airflow underneath your solar panels and your solar panels will be working very very fine having given you a very good efficiency so everything here is like six kilowatts i know on the floor we might be getting like two point something kilowatt because sun is by this side uh this other one will be generating more energy compared to this so this is the best position because uh, the roof is not flat and there is nowhere else we can use so we have to use install six here and another six here this will generate at least some energy during the evening and this will generate some energy in the morning but during the peak hours from 11 12 1 and 2 the sun will be directly on both panels and you generate around four point something kilowatt or even three point something kilowatt and above so this is the best way to install your solar panels using aluminium profile